everybody, it's 7. It's 6.47 a.m. on the 16th of August, 2019, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, on Eastern Time for what ails you. So we're about five minutes or so from sun's rise, and there's already something risen. You know, there's already something glowing magnetically there. Just tough. It is. Look at that. Look at that. There is something really weird going on. Something red in a mug. Look at that. You got an orange blob on top, a yellow streak through the middle, and then red starting to come up. You got me stuck. Look at that. I'm really honored for every single person that comes to my channel and superiors and sticks with me. The numbers don't matter at all. You can hear in my voice, I could callous. Because we know I mean, I forget to say it all the time, and if I, and if I could, if I could sum up my channel in one, in one paragraph, it would be this: you can't destroy energy. We are energy, and. I do not prescribe to the belief that something's coming back to destroy this planet in brimstone, fire, comets, falling, acid, rain, blah, blah. No, I, I just, it's, it's not me. There's an intelligence coming back. Call it what you will. The kingdom of heaven. You know, star seed, gate opening up, kingdom of Care Bear kingdom. I, I don't know, whatever. Because I think that trying to be too specific in any one setting is just ridiculous. I mean, for instance, I can be very Amerocentric, you know, uh, uh, you know, we've all been conditioned by our environments, where we live, what country we're from, blah, blah, blah. I like to keep an open mind. And if something's coming back to change this world for better or for worse, there are over a billion people right now who if you ask them what their lives are like they would say it's hell poverty illiteracy political violence everywhere all over the world the elites that run this world And there are just hundreds of millions of people with nothing whose lives are a torture every day. This is planet hell. And whether Jesus is baseball bat or, you know, or the Care Bears which, with, you know, with the love touch, if it's a comet, if it's a pole shit, all I'm saying is that for the majority of people in this world, they would say it can't get any worse, especially with all the flooding, mudslides, earthquakes, volcanoes, on top of their poverty. So it's 6.53 and they have to raise the simulator up to, to do their job. In a way, you can't blame them. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at how they just... Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that half circle above where the simulator is starting to... See, and they got to be real careful calibrating. Calibrating! Henson! Sir? Where are my leads? Sir, they're in the upper drawer right there. Ah. Okay. 
Where's my Splenda? <laughs> that Captain Cuckoo. Make fun of my Splenda. We'll show him. Crank the simulator! We're trying, sir. We have to kind of calibrate it. We gotta be real careful. Look at the Steve Olsen glow. Seven, you film that fool. Take some pictures. Take them. Take them. That is incredible. Wow. Look at the glow. Look at the perfectly round glow. Oh wow, they un- oh my gosh. Dang. Look at that normal light. <laughs> Two-tone sun. Hamburger bun. I love it how the one person tried to say, that's just the sun rising up behind clouds. <laughs> what, so it starts small and yellow on bottom, but squeegees bigger and yellow uh, and bright white on top. <laughs> Look at that. I can't find the milk, Ensign, sir. It's on the top shelf. You just have to stand on your tippy toes to see it. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is stupid. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Look at that perfect big circle behind all that mess. Maybe two of them. Look at that. There you go. You can really see it. And why do I know it's not reflected light from the simulator? I even thought about that yesterday. Is it just light from the simulator hitting back on the clouds? No! because it won't maintain a perfect circle like that. It would just spread indiscriminately as light does. That is an object. Look at it. And they got the black wall of death clouds up above it all to wait for it. And once this happens, within about two hours, they modify the sky for the rest of the day. Look at that. There you go. There it is. And I think there might be two of them. Look at the perfect glow. That is nuts. And look at all the pixelation is starting. Hope you prophecy, baby. The sky will be full of bricks. Look at that LED screen fakery. Look at them calibrating. The switching settings. <laughs> It's still there. It's funny, it's got stripes too. I don't know why. It's green when you when you do it under UV. Or reverse light. Look at it, look at that big striped son of a bitch. And they gotta be real careful now, or else the simulator will go in front of that big black wall of death. That is so hilarious. That is just hilarious. Look at it, it is, it's starting to. Because it's so close. Oh no, it's going to go in front of the big black wall. And look at that red giant circle around that. That is a trip. And look how there seems to be a big blob to the left, a big orange blob. Look at that, it's going in front of the black clouds.
I do not believe I'm seeing this. I do not believe that we are watching the sun go in front of the black wall. That is... That's hilarious and sickening at the same time. Two-tone sun trying to hide the bottom one. Look at that, look at that. Did you see that? Sir, what instant? You really screwed up. Give me the controls. Calibrating. 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 I love saying that. Who knows, sir? And you suck at it. Shut up, Henson. Look at that. Oh, that's just so telling. Look at the bottom. I I told Luna Bell the other day. I was remote viewed by Mick Jagger's lips. And there they are, boy. Kissing the bottom sun. Mwah. That is nuts. Well, there you go. Multiple light sources that the simulator is finding it terribly difficult to hide anymore. Look at that. And nobody will notice a thing, but the few with eyes to see and ears to hear. Look at that, they just calibrated again. Darn it, I paused while they did it. Shucks, there you go. Look at that putting all kinds of settings on to try to get rid of that bottom blob of light. And this is when they get stuck. Do we keep moving it up? Just leave it there for a little while, sir. They'll crank the fake blue up some more and maybe make it rain in 10 minutes. Ah, oh, okay. Will you give me the big spoon, Anson? Ooh, I'm getting nibby zapped. Zap away, you NASA asshats. Zap away.